In today's world of online commerce, can electronic communications alone provide the minimum contacts necessary to exercise personal jurisdiction over a non-resident defendant? The Minnesota Supreme Court made the maximum contact with that question in Really v. Money Mutual LLC. Money Mutual operated a website that let individuals apply for short-term payday loans. After the borrower submitted an online application, Money Mutual matched the borrower with a payday lender. Money Mutual wasn't a Minnesota corporation. Money Mutual ran a national television ad campaign that some Minnesota borrowers viewed, although it wasn't clear whether the ads had run on Minnesota television stations. Money Mutual also advertised online through a Google AdWords campaign. If someone Googled the term Payday Loan Minnesota or Payday Loan Minneapolis, Money Mutual advertising appeared on their screen. Money Mutual also sent emails to Minnesota residents. Completed applications included borrowers' addresses, so Money Mutual knew which state the borrower lived in. Money Mutual used email to match borrowers and lenders and encourage applicants who hadn't completed the online application. Money Mutual also sent email solicitations to about 1,000 prior Minnesota customers, encouraging them to borrow again. Scott Rilly, a Money Mutual customer, filed a class action complaint alleging that Money Mutual and its lenders weren't licensed in Minnesota and violated Minnesota consumer protection statutes. Money Mutual moved to dismiss the complaint for lack of personal jurisdiction. The trial court denied the motion, and the Court of Appeals affirmed. The Minnesota Supreme Court then granted Money Mutual's petition for review.